Hi everyone, my name is Akshat Jain and in this video we are going to talk about my TCS exam interview experience. So I have just, last week I have given my TCS interview for digital profile. So I'm going to share my all the details that I, that I have experienced in that particular interview. How was the procedure? What was the questions? What was the exact questions that were asked to me? So I'm going to share all the questions that were asked to me and how, how was the flow, where was the interview conducted and all those things. Okay. So let's start. So I have made this, I have made this like a, in a flow so that whomsoever is appearing for TCS and QT, which, which is going to held in 2025, they should also know key what things or how things to happen uh, in TCS exams. So let's start. So our first step was the TCS NQT exam. So we have to register for the TCS NQT exam that was for the freshers and, uh, and it was for the three hours. So the shortlisting was done on the three profiles. The exam was for the three hours, one hour, one hour, 45 minutes was for the aptitude and the another one and a half hour was given to the coding as well. Then, uh, so, how it looks is that key. There will be three profiles that you will be given or you will be shortlisted for the TCS NQT based on your performance on the TCS NQT exam. So if you have done the aptitude in the in that three exam in, in, in that three hours TCS NQT exam, then you will be shortlisted for 3.5 LPA and the profile name is Ninja Profile. If you have done the aptitude plus the advanced aptitude plus one coding question, then you will be shortlisted then you will be shortlisted for the digital profile at that pays the seven LPA. And if you have done the aptitude, all those things plus advanced aptitude plus the two coding questions, then you will be shortlisted for the prime that is for the nine LPA. So in three hours, you will have the aptitude where there will be basic aptitude questions, 20, 20 minutes each for reasoning and the aptitude and the verbal verbal. So they were, uh, these uh, these question will be very easy. You just have to uh, know the basics of those aptitude and the uh, basic aptitude and the verbal uh, reasoning. So you will easily clear those aptitude round as well. Then the second part is the advanced aptitude and coding part. So there you will get the 15 questions, both consisting of the reasoning and the uh, and the maths like the aptitude. So uh, there you will be given around 40 uh, around 32 minutes. 30 minutes to solve all those 15 questions and they are just a little just a li little bit difficult from the basic aptitude so they are not like very difficult they are just the basic like a like a just a little bit difficult from the uh, aptitude that you solved in the previous section plus you will get the two coding questions one is the easy and one is the from uh, easy easy to medium so if you will solve one coding question you will be shortlisted for the 7 lpa and if you will solve, if you will be able to solve both the coding questions, you will be uh, eligible for nine LPA interview. Okay, this is how it looks like. If you talk, if you ask me about the coding coding questions, coding question are very very easy. Like the first question uh, or the easy question from those two question, uh, the easy question like they they ask the basic uh, for loop and the if else loop. So uh, that was uh, that will be asked. So and the second question of the coding question will be a little bit, a little bit uh, more difficult from the first coding question. So uh, that does not necessary to uh, uh, go into deep into DSA. They will also ask you the, uh, like the basic of the uh, coding question. So both the coding question will be very easy. So just revise all the DSA, uh, all the DSA like arrays, linked list, and the strings. So and ninety percent majority is that you will get the question from the arrays and strings. You are not going to get questions from the like graphs or the stack in queue or the uh, or the trees part so don't worry about that then after that giving your uh, giving your uh, three hours exam uh, you can keep checking on your uh, you can keep checking on your on your tcs application status on this particular url which is the tcs and next step .tcs.com. so your results will be declared uh, up, uh, your results will come in approx one month from the exam date so this is how it will look like so when you keep when you when you keep checking on your this particular uh, 
this particular website, which is the tcsnextstep.tcs.com. If you see something like candidate bashed, and if you see your status as the bashed, which means you are now eligible to give the interview, which means your interview has been scheduled. So if you can see, this is my uh, TCS application status. So I applied drive on the 28th March, and then I got this bashed, and my exam was on the 29th April or 28th April, I don't know. And then after exactly after one month, I got this status bashed in my TCS application status, uh, like on the 28th May, okay? Then after that, uh, if you see bash, then this means you are shortlisted for the interview. Then after around two weeks, I I, I got the I, I got the interview mail. So this was my interview mail that says uh, congratulations and you will you have to report on this particular date at this particular venue and you will be required to hold all these copies. Okay, okay. So in the mail you will get for which profile you are shortlisted. So in the mail I I got by you are shortlisted for the digital profile then let's come to the step two which is the tcs interview so this will contains all the tcs how it goes so the first thing you have to remember is what documents you have to take if you got the interview so uh, you will be like they will be mentioning all the documents you need you need to take in the interview but uh, i am also uh, telling you those once again the 10th original mark sheet 12th original mark sheet graduation mark sheet and and if it is like if you haven't got a graduation mark sheet, original mark sheet, then you can just copy your photocopies and the college ID proof, government ID proof should be original and the TCS application form. So TCS application form, this is that you can get that particular application from this particular website on this particular website. So you will log in with your reference ID and you will get your particular TCS uh, application form. So you have to print out that and you have to and you have to take the print uh, you have to take the print out of that particular copy then the two copies for of, of resume and uh, so all those things will be mentioned in your uh, uh, in your mail so uh, just check all those things once again then how how the tcs interview happened what is the flow uh, let me just tell you that so we were uh, so my spot was the 830 as you can see here my spot was the 30 and I reached and I reached the particular venue exactly at the 8:30 a.m. Then I have to wait for half an hour for the TCS executives to come and all those all those other people. So the first building uh, where we all gathered, where where the all the students were gathered. So there we have to do the document verification. So there were around seven to eight TCS executives who were who came there and who were who came there and who, they were doing the verification of our documents so my document document verification starts at the nine and uh, after that uh, after that after the document verification they started call outing the names for the interview so my name came at the 10 30 so uh, i completed my document ver verification around 9 30 and then i, I uh, and then they were calling out the names so my name my name came at the 10 30 and then we were we were asked to move to the second building, to the second building. So this was happening, all this document ver verification was happening in the first building. And then we were asked to move the, in a second building, which was the like other building. So after we waited in a room, so there, uh, where, uh, there we were asked to gather in a room and there we waited for around 10 to 15, 10 to 15 minutes. And then they were started calling for, our, uh, then, they, uh, then they were started calling our names for the interview. So step three was the technical and MR interview. So my interview was scheduled at around 11, like my name came at uh, 11 a.m. So I went for the interview and here is the main part of the of the video. So there was a female and a male who took my interview. Interview went for 40 to 45 minutes, 35 minutes technical and 10 minutes MR. So my interview went for 40 to 40 my 45 minutes. And the main and the interesting thing is that no question was asked to me from the DSA, OOPS, OS or networking. So no questions were asked to me from the core computer fundamentals and all the questions were asked to me from this re resume. Now I'm going to share the exact questions that were asked to me in my interview. So there are a bunch of questions that you can see uh, uh, that, that, that were exactly asked into my interview. Okay. And all these questions, like the major questions were asked 
from the male interview and female was the mr who took my mr interview and the male who was a technical person who took my technical interview so first question was give me give me your intro i i gave them my brief intro then they were they as i told you that they have asked me all the questions from my resume only so they started seeing my resume uh, while i was giving my intro and then they started asking the questions from my resume only the first question they asked me you have mentioned mongodb in your projects krima create the schema for this particular project so i was mentioning i have mentioned some uh, projects which was based on the mern application so mern stack so they were they asked me to create the schema in the mongodb syntax for that particular application so i have created the uh, online ride booking system doctor appointment system these were my projects so they asked me to create the schema what schema can it have and what is the collection so they asked me this questions ki what all other schemas can it have other schemas can you create and what are the collections in the mongodb why did you not choose the sql why did mongodb so they, this question was the fourth question and the difference between the sql and mongodb five differences then the particular in, male interview male interview has uh, drew a table and then asked me to perform the normalization on that table so 1nf 2nf all these normalization so he first asked me question about like what is normalizations and then he asked me he uh, then it drew a, drew, a, drew a table and then he asked me to perform the normalization on that particular table so i i done the 1nf 2nf normalization on that particular table then he asked me if we create a two table will it take more st storage or not so like uh, what the table he drew he said he like if after the normalization if we drew it in a two table using the normalization rules one one nf or two nf so will that particular table will take uh, will that take more storage or not like a one table will take more storage or two table uh, was take will take more storage so that this was a confusion i got uh, a little bit confused then the he saw cicd pipeline so he uh, he asked me about that he what tools we can implement cicd pipelines and what are uh, what is known as cicd pipelines then what tools are there to create these pipelines difference between git and github what is jwt token difference between authentication and authorization difference between react js and node js then questions about my internship three to four questions basic like what uh what have you done on the in the internship then some manager questions like the basic questions like uh, some manager questions like ki tell me your two weakness and two strengths uh, how you are going to see yourself in upcoming years and uh, all those like basic manager questions then some aptitude questions then he asked me ki how much scores how much score do you uh, did you score in your 10th and 12th maths maths exam so i told him <laughs> and then he asked me some aptitude questions that for base that was very easy and that was very basic <clears throat> uh, what are you learning right now this was the one manager questions like new tech so i told him that i i am learning a new like data science and ai ml so i am going i am uh, i am learning all those things uh, give me two cents and two weakness where to re reallocate why do you want to join tcs and they then the difference between primary key and the foreign key so the so the interview was going like uh, in the middle they were asking manager questions and 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 then they they are they are going going back to the technical questions then they are going back to the manager questions so like this was like a random interview there was no particular order ki first the technical interview happened then the manager interview happened all the all those were going like in between so they were asking manager questions in between and they were asking technical questions as well in the between only so uh, difference between primary key and the foreign key what languages have oops concept so like which languages uses oops check whether the string is palindrome or not this was the like basic dsa question that they asked me not dsa this is like a just a basic programming question what if you give me the ninja profile will you be happy like this is one manager question they asked me and uh, as i told you that i mentioned that i am learning a new tech so they asked me what is the linear regression uh, because i mentioned that i am learning ml okay so this these all are the my technical interview and the mr interview questions these all are the exact questions that were asked and if you see then they did not ask me anything from the dsa oops or the networking they asked everything each and everything from my resume only so like they and they asked each and everything from my resume only regarding the project and all the technologies that were mentioned in my project then step 4 was the hr round uh, so after my technical interview happened uh, they asked me to leave and then i i was again uh, went to a room 
and we were asked to wait for the hr round uh, next hr round so uh, after the technical i have to wait for another 45 minutes for the hr interview hr interview were taking a lot of time like uh, so i have to wait a lot of uh, i have to wait a so i have to wait a long time for the hr interview uh, hr hr round was a formality they only asked my introduction and what are my short term long term long term goals she was telling about the company and how will the procedure look like if you get selected so she said ki you will have to undergo 3 months of training and we can downgrade your profile from detail to ninja so the main purpose of this was to just to tell them and uh, just uh, like she was telling about their company and how will the process look like after the selection so uh, so like this was the formality from the hr interview uh, like they did not ask me a lot of questions and my interview was around for 10 minutes only so this was my hr interview and after the, after that interview we were about asked to leave and that, that is it for the interview experience in my tcs interview experience so this is my whole tcs in, experience and if you have any doubts uh, then you can ask me in the comment i will try i will try to answer all those questions in the comments so this is uh, the whole tcs interview looks like and the main part is the questions that were asked to me so i mentioned all the exact questions that were asked to me as a suggestion i would give you if i if like i am saying that don't uh, no questions was asked to me from the dsa oops or the networking that does not mean that you should not revise dsa oops or networking that you go interview without learning them or without revising them do revise dsa oops or networking if you if you if you think that your resume has not if you think that your resume does not have a lot of things to like to say then they will ask you from the fundamental uh, computer like, like from the from the funda, uh, funda, uh, like from the computer fundament, uh, fundamental fundamental only like this was happened to my friends uh, like whom i know they they said that they asked me from the dsa oops or the networking only so the main reason was that their uh, resume was not uh, like they do not have a lot of things in their resume this is my suggestion is that if you think that your resume does not have a lot of things like a projects or the internship experience then you should uh, you will have like they will ask you tsa oops or the networking check your knowledge but if you have a lot of things in your resume in terms of project and the internship experience then maybe they will ask you a lot, lot of questions from the uh, resume only as in my as i have mentioned that all the questions were uh, based on my uh, resume only so this is it for the interview experience and you can ask me doubts in the comment section till that uh, goodbye